heard so much complaining in my life from white women. My name is Joe Hart. Cut to the audience. Ain't number of white women. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm telling you. And that's, and my, my boss, she was like, I hated that part. I said, which part? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I knew exactly which part you yeah. hated. I could, yeah. I could, Every white woman listen. was like, I had to change the channel. I bet you did. I can tell you right now, probably 50% of the audience is white women. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, they, 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 and they ain't happy. Hey everyone, support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts while bringing you new content such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. I did not see Saturday Night Live, but I heard that I was reading different things. Some people say he bombed on Saturday Night Live with his opening monologue. <laughs> Some people say that he was funny and he, you know, people just don't like his edgy humor because he's telling it like it is. He's pulling no punches. And some people in the, in the middle, they say some of it worked, and you know, the more it went on, the, the more he needed to work on his material before he brought it out there. But uh, I didn't see it. Did you see it? No. Did you see it? You did? Uh, I, I would have watched it today, but I was watching The Haunting of Bly, <laughs> man. <laughs> well, uh, first off, I've seen him do way worse shit on stage. And as far as, like, when you say worse, like bombing or telling worse jokes? Telling jokes that offend people more. This was, I thought it was hilarious. His monologue. Now, the show was Saturday Night Live. It was yeah. not well written and it just, they didn't end <laughs> sketches well and it was boring. Yeah. But his monologue was hilarious. When people get mad, look, it's either, you know, chances are today when people get mad, probably somebody was saying something, you know, probably somebody was dropping some, you know, some real knowledge and people didn't like it. You know, they're telling too much truth and people uh, don't like it being delivered that straightforward. Uh, it made a lot of white women mad. Yeah. <laughs> made a lot of gay people mad. Uh, I'm not making any judgments here because I haven't seen it. I'm going to watch it now, a little bit of it. Hopefully it doesn't go on that long, but I'm going to watch a little bit of this and maybe do a little play-by-play -play here. The people we all cheated off of in high school, right? <laughs> Keep listening to them. And then if you don't wear a mask, that doesn't bug me either, right? Take out your grandma. I will tell you this. Wearing the mask makes the band look ominous as like the band just because you can tell usually the band is smiling and everything mm -hmm. and they just back there just staring. <laughs> you know, it's just like it's like they just look like you know, yeah, it, it looks they look threatening. We, we the go, band we, back there. We, we gonna kill this you can't tell if like that's the thing with mass. You can't tell if they're just staring at you or if they're laughing, you know? And it ain't like he's bombing, it like they want to kill that mother. Hmm. Take out your grandparents. You know? Take out your weak cousin with the asthma. I don't care. <laughs> it's your decision. And speaking of dreams, come okay, that was funny. that was funny. Yeah. yeah, that was funny. I mean, I, I mean, I've heard we agree very with him, but <laughs> that what's makes that? It, I said we agree with him, so that we makes agree it with funny. him. Yeah, and I've heard variations on this. You know, I went and was like, ah, but that was that's funny, man. I, you know, again, that, it's funny it, mainly because it's true. Bro, did you see Rick Moranis got sucker punched on the Upper West Side? <laughs> <laughs> New York is back. <laughs> I'm sorry, I laughed at that. I oh, laughed that's funny, that. man. Yeah, I laughed out loud when he said that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I felt bad for Rick, but goddamn, uh, yeah, yeah. that was funny. <laughs> no, I, no, that's, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, no, that's a good joke when you feel bad about the, the subject coming, but you still have to hey, laugh man, it's, at how it's, it, it's put together. Hey, look, first of all, it's been 48 hours. <laughs> you know, we find, and Rick Moranis is still alive. Yeah, yeah, you know, shit, yeah. he's probably even laughing at this. You know, that when Maybe not, but <laughs> <laughs> It's still fresh. Yeah, yeah. This motherfucker, it still hurts. Yeah. I ain't laughing yet, but hey. maybe, maybe a couple hey, months. Hey, you know what? We, uh, it's, uh, where they say, uh, too soon? No, it's t the time has passed. What, it's been a week? Yeah, we're, full. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. yeah, we can laugh about it. It's been seven whole days. We're good. We can laugh at Rick Moranis now. I don't know. I'll probably get canceled. For doing that joke, you know how stupid is that cancel thing? They literally. Right, here we go. You know, everybody's. Yeah, that's. that's everybody's that, talked that, about that, that's what his last special was too much of. Yeah, everybody's talked about canceling now, but I don't know. I haven't heard this. Maybe it's funny. They're trying to cancel John Wayne. It's like, yeah, dude, God did that forty years ago. <laughs> They're all up in arms. Like, okay, not, see, this is where. This is the Bill Burr where I'm like, all right, Bill Burr is funny. I ain't got nothing against Bill Burr. I know that's a joke right there, but this is where he sounds like a 55 year old white guy who don't get it. <laughs> you know, it's like, I, hey, listen, ain't, and I know it's just a joke, but I'm just saying, ain't no, you know, I know comp people complain about John Wayne because I've complained about John Wayne, but ain't nobody trying to cancel John Wayne. People, I for one am happy because John Wayne's been shoved out of throats for years where we've been told he's a hero, he's a pure American. If you don't like it, get the f out. And then you learn, I'm glad people are realizing John Wayne's a Asshole, sure. John Wayne's. But now we begin to realize he's a racist, and that's everybody needs to hear that shit because we, you know, people been trying to turn that history around for years. 
I gotta tell you, the way white women somehow hijack the woke movement, I've never heard so much complaining in my life from white women. My language to her. Cut to the audience, ain't number of white women. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm telling you, that's, and my, my boss, she was like, I hated that part. I said, which part? Yeah. 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 I know exactly which part you yeah. hated. Yeah. I can, yeah, I can, every white woman listen. was like, I had to change the channel. I bet you did. I can tell you right now, probably 50% of the audience is white women. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, they, 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 and they ain't happy. Cause, <laughs> well, especially the ones who are writing for, for magazines like Vulture and the Mary Sue who are writing all the think pieces about this. Yeah. I, I will, I, you know, I'm going to let it play, but I, I, I would just say, because you, you can hear the, the audience getting yeah. nervous laughing yeah. now. I'm just yeah. like, oh, right. she's talking about us now. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. was it, was, yeah. it was funny. It was, it was funny. funny. We were talking about John let me, Wayne. Let me, tell, let, me let me tell you something. You motherfuckers just yeah. laughed about Rick Moranis getting punched in the right. face, yeah. and y'all yeah. were like, ah, ha, ha. And now that he's talking about this shit, which, yeah. by the way, is kind of probably real. Oh, yeah. Now they're like, like, ah, oh, Rick Moranis, fuck that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What do you say? What do you say? Uh, wait, 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 what? <laughs> you see how they walk? They all went. Uh, 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 uh. This shit down, down, yeah. didn't it? Yeah. I guarantee you, about ten bitches were taking Gucci's off their yeah, feet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Pull that shit. <laughs> Take off the Gucci mask. Yeah, 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 yeah. They go. You go. Yeah, you mad? You, you, you fine when little Jew gets punched in the face? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, but when you get into this other shit, right? Here, wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, honey, I showed the kids, motherfucker. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No. Nah. Yo, no, yeah, that's what yeah, I'm yeah. talking about. That's exactly why I ain't never seen tables turn like this this quick. Caught, caught them slipping. Yeah. See, yeah, they were laughing their ass off. No, it's funny when it's you, bitch. No, yeah. physical, no, it don't work like physical that. Physical assault was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, that mirror came up. Mm. Who the f*** is that? No, no, no. Sit your ass down. You laughed at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Calm um, down, Bill. Yeah, we, we got more laughing to do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hear the rest of this shit out. No, no, sit down. The nerve, where's the camera? The nerve of you white women. Let me, I don't listen. She ain't laughing at all. <laughs> no. It is That's red. Funny, you see, but you notice that when she ain't showing the audience like they usually do no, during the monologue. No, no. no. When, when Chris Rock was doing it, they were showing the whole audience there the whole time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially when it's a stand up monologue and not just like yeah, an actor singing, talking. When yeah. it's a stand up monologue, they always yeah. show the audience. Yeah. yeah. Stood by us toxic white males through centuries. You rolled around in the blood money, and occasionally when you wanted to sneak off and hook up with the black dude, if you got caught, you said it wasn't consensual. That was funny, man. Yeah, yeah, was funny. He kind of I mean, peters out after this. Yeah, I, yeah but I got so, it. it's just good to, like, oh, wow, somebody said it out loud. Yeah, yeah. he said, rolled around in the blood money with <laughs> Yeah, and sit down and take your talking yeah, to Yeah, yeah, you were right next you, to us. Yeah, you laughed at that little Jew getting hurt. Now yeah. sit down and take your shit. Everybody getting get their ass whooped in there. That little Jew getting hurt. Yeah. Yeah, that was funny. I, I, look, I, tell, I don't have a thing against Bill Burr. You know, like I said, this is this. You know, it, I like this because he's smiling, he's laughing. You yeah, know, yeah, he's like yeah, he, yeah. he's not he's not just walking around angry and shit. And he, you know, like I said, I the John Wayne thing, whatever, man. I didn't, I didn't. That's why I say, you know, even as a joke, I don't think you get it. That's why it doesn't work for me because it's not, oh. it's not just, just this, you know. But whatever, man. I ain't mad about it. Well, I feel you, though, because I got the oh, – I'm sorry. No, no, go, no, go ahead. No, no. I feel you because I got the yeah, – I feel you, too, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you want some Rick Moranis? <laughs> no, because I, I feel I feel the same way about John Wayne that you do. Seriously, yeah. Because I was like I, – I think I was like, man, you could hit him harder than that. Well, I don't mind – let me just say this. I don't mind you making a joke about John Wayne. I don't even mind the way, like, your opinion on it. It's just like it was – Again, that's where it's like, I don't think that there was much a joke behind it. That's where I'm talking about the complaining Bill Burr. Like, shut up. John Wayne is old. I'm like, yeah, okay, what else we got besides that? Well, yeah. I, I don't think he was saying shut up, John Wayne is old. He just found a, a different spin on it right. yeah. to make a joke out of it. Like, all white guys that age are racist. Yeah, he's like, yeah, he like, 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 even he's like, he's like, yeah, of course he was racist. So I finally walked up to this old New York door guy, and I was just like, dude, what's going on? What's with all these people here? Oh. And he was just like, oh, no, 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 don't worry. He goes, it's, it's June. He goes, it's Pride Month. And I'm like, what's that? I said, how you never heard of Pride Month? <laughs> that's a goddamn lie. That's, yeah. just, that, that's just a setup for a joke. It's yeah. clearly a yeah. setup, yeah. Because yeah. 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 I, I was feeling yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, you, you, on, a, you're, you're a celebrity. You don't know. <laughs> it's like, you know. Yeah, you worked with gay people, I'm right. sure. Yeah. You know, yeah. Come on, man. The month of June is Gay Pride Month. That's a little long, don't you think? For a group of people that were never enslaved. <laughs> Honey... <laughs> Cross turning. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. I ain't saying nothing yet. <laughs> I'm gonna say something later, but go ahead. Mm -hmm. Dude, black people were actually.
actually enslaved, they get February. They get 28 days of overcast weather. Sun goes down at four in the afternoon. Everybody's shivering. Man, I heard that that was like cringeworthy. He bombed. I mean, maybe he bombed because it wasn't the, it wasn't the the, the right audience. Uh, I know I'm just speaking for myself. I don't know how everybody else thought here, but I, I. It it wasn't as bad of a joke. It wasn't good. I don't think uh, it wasn't or it wasn't the strongest material there. But uh, I, you know, I wasn't. I, you know, I didn't think it was that bad. No, I mean, mm. I I I know that a definition of bombing is if you get up and and people don't laugh, which they did. They just weren't up. You know, it wasn't yeah. uproarious laughter. But I always feel like if I watch a comedian and they and they genuinely do make me laugh and are funny, I don't consider it a bomb. Yeah, and yeah. I, I, you know, I, I say I, I laughed at seventy percent of it. <clears throat> yeah, that last part, the gays, I heard that that was awkward. It was terrible. Nah, man, I, I mean, that's people being. Yeah, yeah, I think it maybe it wasn't the right orders of people just weren't comfortable to hear him say something like that. His you know. opening with it was that like, <laughs> yeah, where yeah, you going sure. With oh this? yeah, when I first yeah when I first heard, it, I was like, I was at home watching. <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. Like, Ooh, yeah, hold on, like brother. oh, Bill, how you gonna <laughs> how, how you gonna pull this one out? Yeah. And I was like, all black right. people, <laughs> <laughs> not a great save. Yeah, but it was, yeah, it was yeah, decent. Yeah. Enough. It was. The, I tell you what, it was the, the the gay joke. I don't think it was offensive. I well, I don't think it was terrible. It was very clunky. Yeah. It, it agreed, de- agreed. De- definitely needs some work. Yeah. You agreed. Know? Yeah. That was. I wish you would that had been the middle and you ended with maybe the white woman thing or something because that <laughs> that was his A material was a white woman stuff. Yeah. That was that. And, you know, I even like which his, they were uncomfortable <laughs> with too. I know. I know exactly. <laughs> you had me laughing with that. <laughs> Laughing the little juke in his ass kicked. <laughs> hey, Will, man. True. I, hey, know. Man. I know. That's why I'm laughing. We experience that true. shit all the time. People laugh at everybody and everything we talk about until, oh, uh, you sh- you shouldn't have said that gay shit. Man, I'm overweight and I'm uncomfortable with what you said. You made me feel self-conscious. When I, f- I know I did. You laughed at every mother mm-hmm. talked about. Right. Mm-hmm. You laughed at black people. You laughed at skinny people. You laughed at <laughs> Jews. You laughed at Mexicans. We talk about Mexicans a lot here. You laughed at every. Joke I said about Carlos being Puerto Rican. Uh-huh. Ain't, I didn't get no email about that. But all of a sudden, why did you say that about women? F- you. <laughs> you know what I said yeah, about my, yeah. yeah, my teeth were funny as hell a minute ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and that whole shit, and that's what I'm saying. Man, I would defend them. The gay joke was not set up well, but people heard enslaved and they like, hold on, that's not what you should talk about right now. F- off, man. You know. It. Uh, it Joke needs some work, and, he, and if he had actually told it better, it probably would have won people over better. That's what happens, and that should be. I wasn't offended, but that's that. That should be a lesson. And like, if you don't go in and get your shit tight, then the audience will turn on you. If you're gonna tell, yeah. if you're gonna tell like edgy material, if you're gonna do things that you know you come out and like, hey, be tight. I'm it's gonna speak be truth. Really funny. Yeah, because if you telling like, if you're going out speaking truth that make people make people uncomfortable, if your shit is not 100 percent correct when you bring it out. The, the audience is ready to turn on you because they don't want to hear that shit. That's initially. the thing. Yeah. And you also got to change your style for where you're at because the thing is, when if you you know you watch his stand up, he drags all that shit out. Yeah. Like he does like a Letterman. Yeah. Oh, no, no, he does like a kind of a Letterman thing. No, where he, that that is the thing when you have a full stand up special. Sure. Or you're you're gonna be on stage for like ten minutes. He's got plenty of got time. Plenty to, of time to get him back mm-hmm. and yeah, get, and throw him away again. Then yeah. get him back. That's his whole deal. That's his whole shit. But, yeah. you know, but he didn't yeah. change it for that. He didn't change it for that. Same thing with Kevin Hart. Yeah. When he when he yeah. he hosted it was. Cringeworthy, his monologue. His, it was, his I didn't see it. Yeah, because he was doing his da 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 You know how he does. <laughs> yeah. And it was just, it wasn't working, and the crowd wasn't getting, I saw what he was trying to do. He just didn't change his style for where he was. Yeah. And it just, yeah. it, there wasn't time for him to really get to what he, you know, turn around and do what he needed to do, so it just kind of felt flat. the audience, you just don't know. You just don't know. Yeah. I think you can do the same material two nights in a row, and one audience loves it, yeah. and, the, and the second audience is heckling you. Absolutely. I, I think sometimes one of the best things to do is, like, man, just make the audience feel like they're part of the act. Win them over in the beginning. You know, sometimes mm-hmm. you make them feel like you're with them or whatever. Or they, You know, you everybody's hanging around as friends or whatever. Then sure. you can say some crazy stuff, and they will... They will they, actually be on Yeah, no, no. Yeah, you can you can <coughs> win them over and they'll go along with you for a while. But I've also seen comedians who did that. I was like, man, this guy, and then it's just like he mm. ran out of material. And it was just <laughs> it was even worse. It was like, wow, I feel betrayed now because I'm just sitting here yeah, and wow. you ain't saying shit. But you know, it's a weird time too. Some people in the <laughs> chat are making good points. Uh Bill Burke could not go out and do the material that he, you know, he probably couldn't uh, he couldn't practice in comedy clubs because they're not a lot of them are not open right now. Uh, yeah, they're, yeah, they're not open, and people are bringing phones and recording stuff. Like mm-hmm. you're trying to workshop yeah. a joke, and it doesn't play out well. Especially if you go do it on Somebody's SNL. recorded, put it on YouTube. <clears throat> Look what this motherfucker said. 
Yeah. Like, or or giving up his set before he gets a chance to go on and do it on Saturday Night Live. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Uh, plus the audience is limited capacity. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's right. You can't get it, as many laughs. Yeah. yeah. So. And yeah, man. masks on. <laughs> I mean, just, hey, look, I'm not even, let me just take away, you know, criticizing him or, you know, when I say criticize, not even like criticizing me, you know, like analyzing his, his material, you know, critiquing, there you go, critiquing his material, you know, just taking all that away, man. I think this is a fascinating to see, uh, this is a fascinating thing to see where, you know, uh, especially during this time, how comedians have to work. I think it's good to see how you structure material, what works with people, what doesn't. Uh, I think, you know, all this stuff is educational for people who want to perform in front of people or be comedians and whatnot. I, I think right there, you saw where stuff was killing it, man. And then you saw some stuff where it's like, ah, that needs work. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I think it's fascinating to see, if nothing else, man. I like Bill Burr, though. You know, no, I, like, I do, too. I, li I like Bill Burr a lot. I actually <clears throat> I actually, uh, think he's very funny. I love his personality. Uh, the only time I talk about him was when I say I've seen him. He was somewhere else where he was telling somebody. It was it was another thing where, you know what? Ah, they're just complaining. Ah, shut up, shut up, stop talking, stop complaining. When he does that, I don't like that kind of humor myself. Where it's like, I don't agree with you. Just shut up because you're complaining. I'm like, all right, you know what? I think it's what it was. It was like millennials, millennials, man. They're just full of shit. You know, they're just they're just spoiled brats. Shut up, millennials. And I was like. Uh, you know, that's give me a, a reason. Yeah. That's, that's a cop out. Millennials have a lot of reasons to complain right now. So, you know, I hate, I don't like that kind of stuff. Shout out. But well, I mean, yeah, that. but if also, let's say they have a lot of reasons to complain. If you want to talk shit about them in your stand up act, use their complaints against them and yeah. make it, you know, don't just say, ah, shout out, you know, say, yeah, well, da -da -da, yeah. like you do, like well, I keep saying, but like you do with the white women, <laughs> you know, yeah. I, I keep using that as an example because we just saw it, but you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, well, there you go, people. What I would do is if anybody's coming up, maybe I'll even do this myself. You look look at some of the people that have really won the audience over and then look at some people who, you know, might have uh, petered out at some time.